Hi guys and welcome to Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit disqualification page on SurveyMonkey. So for this, first of all, head over to any of the browser you have installed on your PC, go to the search bar, type in SurveyMonkey login and log into SurveyMonkey's website using your user credentials. Now what you're going to do is click on my survey option at the top left corner. Now select the survey on which you want to edit the disqualification page. So I'm going to edit the disqualification page of this survey right here. So I'm going to click on the three dotted icon and click on send survey. After you click on send survey, you'll be prompted to this collect responses page. Now click on the three dotted icon just after the QR link that you have of that survey and click on edit collector. Now scroll down and at the bottom of this page, you will have some options to edit this link. Now click on show advanced options and you will see more options appearing on your screen. And the last option is custom disqualification as you can see. You can upgrade your plan to show a custom message if the respondents don't qualify for your survey. So click on upgrade and upgrade to a plan and edit the disqualification page as you want according to your preference. As you can see on this SurveyMonkey's help page for choosing a disqualification option and editing the disqualification page, click on the custom disqualification that you see just right here and choose between showing respondents a custom disqualification message, sending respondents to a URL of your choice or showing respondents the standard disqualification message that is the survey and page setting you have enabled. So you can only set one disqualification option per collector. If you have multiple answer choices in the survey that disqualify a respondent, they will all see the same disqualification option no matter what question actually disqualified them. Your custom disqualification can have up to 500 characters. So that's the way through which you can edit the disqualification page on SurveyMonkey. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.